the 2014 Sunday Times short story prize to Adam Johnson for the fun. It was a wonderful surprise. Um, I honestly, the stories were so astonishing. I fell in love with them all. Um, it, it didn't really occur to me um, that mine would be, you know, uh, picked. I have to say I'm in love with short story readings. In bed, eyes open, I hear whispers, which makes me think of the president because we often talk in whispers. What a treat to have um, such a great Shakespearean actor kind of bring some of my words to life. Uh, the story's about um, uh, a young man who lives in Silicon Valley. He is, um, he writes code. He works for a company called Reputation Curator, a fictional company. And he has devised a system to scrub the internet of people's personal information to see if there's any um, mischaracterizations or bad characterizations of, of people out there. And he takes this and just by hooking up um, the information he's gathered through just like a search engine to a little video projector that it compiles all our photos from Facebook and Instagram, everything we've said on YouTube, all the video images of people, he makes projections of them that can come to life. And so um, to help his uh, sick wife uh, feel some comfort, uh, he brings to life a hero of hers well, you know, I wrote the, st the story while my wife was going through chemotherapy. It was such a, you know, dark, strangely funny, very surreal place. Because we have three small children, we were constantly kind of trying to explain things in very childlike ways, and even that was difficult to talk about. I felt uh, an urge to deal with it in a very sophisticated way, and a story is a very sophisticated thing. Well, with this story, um, you know, my wife was sick, and so I, th I think my dreams were a little charged at the time. Uh, a friend of mine from school, I had fallen out of touch with him, he's a really wonderful guy, took his life um, March 27th, 2012, this was about two years ago now, and I had begun listening to Nirvana um, after my friend took his life. It was one of his favorite bands, and I don't know why, but I just began listening to this music we had once enjoyed together when we were roommates. Um, and so that kind of brewed its way into the story as well. I had a dream one night that um, uh, in my dream a drone came to my window. I could hear it buzzing out there. And when I went to the window and parted the curtains, there it was hovering on a column of air. And it regarded me with a little red light. Somehow in my dream logic, I knew that was connected to my friend. I wondered what that meant. And uh, I went to the library the next day and uh, I wrote an opening scene with uh, someone with a health issue and this drone that came. And um, that's the magic of a short story. All these elements have to find a way to fit together. You know, my favorite parts are the invisible parts, the architecture, the design of it. Um, a story works on many different levels. Certainly, language is what everyone engages with, but you know, the language is just how we convey the character arcs, the scene selections, right? Um, levels of um, uh, personal development, of A and B plots, you know, all these things are going on at once. And if the artifice of a story is working well, the reader's just whisked away and we don't really see the artist's hand at work. And so the, the balance of of looking at the dead president, of coming back to the drone, of this wife and this promise that he had made that's in the background, and in the foreground, whether or not she'll recover and whether or not she'll get her dream of becoming a mother. How will those pieces fit together? I would like to make a special appeal to Barack Obama to consider just a guest appearance. It can be uncredited if you don't want that kind of attention. Uh, but Mr. President, if you wouldn't mind um, just co-starring in a minor way, um, it would be a personal favor to, my, to me as your hero.